What's up guys, it's Roman Kozak here with my fifth Arduino tutorial series. In today's video tutorial series, we'll be looking at RFID modules. I'll tell you how they work, what they are exactly, and how you guys can incorporate them into your Arduino projects. So let's start with, what is an RFID module? So an RFID module is a technology that allows for contactless uh, transmission of data. So in most cases, you'll have something like a card. Um, that can be used with the RFID module. And inside the card, if you take a close look, if you just shine a light through it, you can see that there is actually an antenna or a string of wires inside the card, also with that unique identifier. And that coil pretty much allows, uh, it holds, uh, I believe a 10 digit number that um, is transmitted to the module um, once placed within close proximity. So this technology is used in credit cards, it's used in passports in some countries, and it's also used for like human identification, animal identification, or any um, place where you need to identify a certain object. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to hook up the Parallax RFID call card reader serial module. You can pick this up from places like Robot Shop. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the materials you'll need. First of all, you will need a RFID module. Once again, I'll be using the Parallax RFID card reader. Also, you will need an Arduino. I'll be using the Arduino Uno SMD edition. Along with the RFID module, you will need some sort of card. You will also need four jumper wires. Next, you will need a breadboard. Um, optional is an LED. This just allows um, it to light up when an RFID module has been touched and when it has received data. So it looks like that is it. So um, enough of me talking, let's go on to actually wiring it up. The RFID module has four pins. One is VCC, that will be connected to positive 5 volts on your Arduino. One is an enable pin and that will be connected to digital pin 2 on your Arduino. One is SO, or in other words, TX, that will be connected to digital pin 5 on your Arduino. And lastly, the fourth pin is ground. So without any further ado, let's start hooking this baby up to the Arduino. Simply start by placing the RFID module in uh, the breadboard like so. And then take your Arduino and your headers or your jumper cables. And start by hooking up ground to ground on the Arduino. So we have ground to ground. Just put that in there. Next, put VCC into positive 5 volts into your Arduino. Next, take another jumper wire and attach that to the enable pin on your RFID module. And then attach that to digital pin Jeez, if I can get this to fit. Let me just change the orientation here. Okay, so attach that to digital pin 2 on your Arduino. Next, take another jumper wire and attach that to digital pin 5. And then to the S out on the RFID module. Okay, so um, it is pretty much all hooked up. Uh, so we have VCC going to positive 5 volts, we have enable going to digital pin 2, we have S out going to digital pin 5, and we have ground finally going to ground. So lastly, what you want to do is hook up your USB Type B cable and plug it into your Arduino. And you should see that the light on the RFID module is green and that your Arduino is in fact turned on. All right, so the first thing you want to do is open up your Arduino IED. So just do that by clicking on the Arduino icon. And then I'm going to copy and paste some code in here. And this is uh, just the basic code I got off the Parallax website or the demo code for their RFID module. So let me run you through this very quickly because I know you guys have busy lives. Okay, so what I'm doing here is declaring the uh, that the LED is an output. Um, that is the LED that's going to give us a green light if the RFID card is successfully read. 
right here we're defining that the transmit or that the receive pin is digital pin 5 and that the transmit pin is digital pin 4. Here um, the library that is needed in order for the RFID module to run is called uh, software serial.h that is a default that's automatically installed when you install the Arduino IED. So no need to install that, um, most likely it's installed by default. Here um, we are declaring that the RFID enable pin is an output, so that's digital pin 2, and the pin mode LED is an output 2. We are going to commence the serial communication at 9600 baud rate, and right here, uh, when you write the RFID enable pin low, it's going to, um, it's going to uh, pretty much enable the RFID module to receive cards and to scan cards. Then we're going to print a line saying, please scan cards, so the user knows they can place the card in close proximity to the scanner. Next, if the RFID reader is available, it's just going to uh, see if the data is available from the reader. Then it's going to read the serial tag. Then, um, this is pretty much showing that if you scan the tag twice, it's not going to show the same tag just because that is pretty much pointless. So it's going to look for unique cards. So if the card is not different than the previous card scanned, then um, serial.print that card's name. So it'll print that card's unique identifier. And right here, I just added digital right LED pin high um, so you know when the card is scanned. And then this void serial and string down here, <coughs> sorry, is all the code necessary to read the RFID signal. Okay, so that's pretty much a rundown of the code. I'll put a link in the description where you can find this code, download it for yourselves, and follow along in this video tutorial. So what you want to do, make sure you have the right board and the right serial port selected. Then go ahead and upload this code to, code to your Arduino board and let's take a look at what happens. All right, so the first thing you want to do is open up your serial monitor and set your baud rate to 9600. Then grab your fancy RFID card, and um, once this guy is all powered on, you should be able to just swipe the RFID card over and you'll see the green light turns on. And you should receive a number on your serial monitor, and that will be the unique identifier that is um, set to the card you just scanned. Thank you for watching today's episode on RFID modules. If you like this video, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like it down below. I believe it's over here or over here. But be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, check out my other YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash geektrain. And that's more geared towards unboxing, technology reviews, and like my rants about technology. Also, my newest technology blog, which is called geektrain.com. We cover everything new in gadgets, consumer electronics, and science. It's really cool articles over there. So you can head over there, geektrain.com, check that out. Also, my personal Twitter account, I usually do, I usually tweet like at least 20 things a day. Um, so why don't you head over there, that's twitter.com slash Kozak. Please follow me um, for awesome technology news and pretty much just behind the scenes of what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life. Once again, I've been Roman Kozak, and thank you for watching episode 5 of my Arduino tutorial series on RFID cards. Catch you in the next video.